Hello, world. Hello, everyone. Mike, Newfound Past. Back with your Monday morning post thrifting. Good Sunday for thrifting. Hello, Oops. world. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Mute my YouTube. Oh, there we go. Good. Good morning, Ennis. I was I was worried that it was going to be like last Friday where I opened this up and there was like zero. There was crickets. Something weird went on with the one last Friday. But good morning, Anissa. Good morning, John, Michelle, all the good people. Craig, good morning. Good morning. Uh, life is good. I'm not even wearing my life is good shirt, but life is good. No, nope, this is Eddie Bauer shirt. <laughs> good morning, Monty, Gina. Hello, everyone. Is the sound good? I'm using my new microphone. What do I do with my list? Oh, there it is. Reseller man. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Um, good. Sounds fantastic. That's awesome. I was hoping this thing worked well. <laughs> spend money on stuff you want it to work right you know oh that's that's too bad gina where do you live where do you live gina up here in northern virginia uh we got about eight inches of snow i'm gonna have a funny little intro clip to my haul video with the snow <laughs> uh but uh didn't stop us from thrifting we got out and uh and thrifted hit them hit our usual route and did okay i mean the crowds are only about 25 percent of normal which is awesome because honestly i hate crowds but uh you know just normal thrifting though oh okay yeah i imagine it's a yeah Everybody was like freaking out like it was the apocalypse, you know, and we're my wife's from northern Missouri and uh, we lived in Missouri forever. And it's the same. Uh, what is that latitude basically is here and we got more snow than that there all the time. You know, it wasn't odd for us to get a couple feet. <laughs> well, you're from. Well, I don't know if you're from Texas, Monty, but you live in Texas, so you're not really used to this nonsense. Honestly, when I was younger, I love snow and I still like it. It's pretty and stuff, but. I could live without it. <laughs> good morning, Hawk. Piper John, good morning, everyone. Dawn, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, so um, I got all my items pulled. I got uh, 10 orders, which is still below average, but at least they're cranking up again with my listing last week. <laughs> Craig, shame, shame. Craig had to put on a jacket this morning. Here I am down in my bottom level and I got on a hoodie, a thick hoodie and, <laughs> and I'm inside. <laughs> Monty, your son was nine before he saw any snow, man. I bet you that was fun though. What's up, Justin? Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. Oh yeah. That that's awful. Gina, uh, one time here. Uh, our internet went out for a solid three days, but luckily I was able to print off, uh, figure out my uh, router with my printer and print off labels with just my, you know, my cell phone. But yeah, that's a hassle. Oh, good, Andy. How are you doing this morning? Sorry, I missed the hangouts yesterday. I did t tune in for a few minutes in the thrift store, but we were in the thrift stores all day yesterday. And it was a good time. Like I said, the crowds were small because of the weather. But uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It's weird. You would think with the less people that the thrifting would have been fantastic, but it was just kind of normal, which normal for us is pretty good, you know? So well, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. I got your name down here. Elle just sold her first book on Amazon, which is great. Did you send in an FBA shipment of books? Good morning, Gate City Picker. How you doing this morning? Thank you for tuning in. I saw you in Justin's chat this morning. Yeah, it's my basically my only thrift day. Uh, sometimes I will go to Salvation Army on Wednesdays, but that's hit and miss if I feel like it or not. And I haven't been going recently because I've got a, about a 
400 item death pile that I've been trying to work through. <laughs> there you go. The reseller man's offering it up, Gina. Can log in and uh, get your stuff shipped. Important. Good morning, hip flipping mama. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing on a chilly, chilly morning? I imagine even if it's uh you didn't get snow or weather or stuff in most part of the country, it's pretty cold, it seems like. So need that maybe to maybe the insects won't be so bad this summer. They always say that though, but the insects are always bad. I heard that ever since I was a kid in Arkansas. Oh, I'm just kill all the mosquitoes. No, it won't. <laughs> uh okay l just uh fulfilled by merchant yep that's what i do with all my amazon items right now I'll, i would like to kick up my fba again but uh, it's just making i've talked about it before it's just making time for it just making time making time this week is the first week of our new schedule monday wednesday friday 9 a.m eastern live shows uh tuesday uh, haul video Thursday, what sold video. That's really the only major change is the, th the, 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 what sold video is moving from Friday to Thursday and moving from Thursday to Wednesday for patrons. So yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. You had a lot, Justin. Uh, I, I was talking about it. I had 12, which is okay. It's just getting back up though. I just started listing again last week. So it's just getting that algorithm kicked in the hind end. Get ready to go. Good morning, Lex. How are you doing? That's not bad at all, Piper John. I would take 53 Fahrenheit here all day. Yesterday, it was about 30 degrees all day and snowing and ice and blowing, and it was cold, but man, we hit the thrift stores. <laughs> Mama loves Justin. I don't know, hip flipping mama. He can get pretty wound up. In the morning, you get that coffee in him. He gets the shakes. <laughs> I'm just giving him a hard time. Justin's a great, great guy. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Lex. But I don't know. You know, and I've heard that from a lot of other resellers and stuff in, on YouTube and in the Facebook chats and stuff. I, I just thought, I just chalked my bad sales up to me not listing. But it seems like everyone's down a little bit, you know, so... I mean, there's always going to be exceptions. Some people are going to do really well, some not. But, you know, who knows? Whoo, Monty, it's 30s in Texas, man. That is cold, cold in Texas. I'll tell you what, Monty, I went to college in Oklahoma. So, you know, not that far from Texas. And uh, I was South Central Oklahoma. You could figure out the college if you really researched it. But uh, we went, I was the... Uh, statistician for the our college softball team you know i did all the statistics for the softball and that was awesome we were really good finished like fourth that year in nationals but we went and played a tournament in oklahoma panhandle which is you know right there by texas and it was free, it was like 20 degrees and no one was prepared for it <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was so cold i went to the store and bought a coat it was so ridiculous oh i imagine it's freezing in michigan that's pretty much par for the course isn't it I still have family that lives in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I uh, haven't seen them in a long time because they're distant family. It's my great grandmother's brother's family. Uh, last time I saw all of them was at a family reunion about 20 years ago, but uh, still remember them fondly and well. The uh, church clan in Kalamazoo, Michigan. That's their last name, church. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. It's, I bet you it's cold in Chicagoland area. Whoo, cold, cold, cold. Yeah, that's what I'm about to kick up, Sherry. Kick up the shipping. I got all my orders pulled. Good morning, bargain effect. How are you doing this morning? Hawk sales are climbing since last week. Yep. That's, that's good stuff. Yeah, listing daily, I think, is the number one most important thing you could do to generate sales is listing daily. Well, it's awesome, John. John is really, really kicking in the butt with the sales. Reseller man lives in OKC for 15 years. The college I went to was about four, 30, 40 minutes south of Oklahoma City. 
and it's not Norman. It's not OU because <laughs> OU is about the same distance. So, yeah, that's what whew, cold. And that that wind would whip across Monty. And oh man, <laughs> Lex lived in Oklahoma City for fifteen minutes. That's funny. I've lived in places for fifteen minutes. <laughs> I lived in Mississippi for about 15 minutes <laughs> and I was like, Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. Steampunk town lives close to Kalamazoo. Yeah, it's not too bad for this time of year in uh, Wisconsin, isn't it? 21 degrees. That's like a balmy winter day. isn't it? good morning. Will good to see you in here, bud. Glad you made it in. Sales are up 238%. That is fantastic. My sales are up over last year at this same period, but my sales compared to obviously December are way down, but you know, that's apples to oranges. So not too bad. If you look at it in the, uh, the, the, uh, macro, you know, Now, OSU, you know, up in Stillwater, north of Oklahoma City. How was south of Oklahoma City? It was a small school. I have formerly known. Let me see. Let me get your name here. I know I have it here. Allen, formerly known as FNP, his <laughs> nephew played baseball in Montana. That's insanity. You know how even in like Arkansas and when it was chilly, you know how the bat would wring your hands and the ball would hit in the wrong part of your glove. And and that was in warm weather and it had hurt. I can't imagine in Montana. Hope that mute button worked. I had a little coughing fit there. I have a mute button on my camera so if I could have to cough. <laughs> Oh, reseller man. Thank you for the super chat. And you're always awesome to get Justin and I appreciate that. You're only my fourth super chat. And I always appreciate that. That is the only, you know, it seems little to people, but it's big to us. It shows you appreciate what we do, what we bring, you know, so. Well, you went from Oklahoma city, moved to Dallas and then to Connecticut. Ooh, that's, that's big difference, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've heard of that too, uh, Piper John. Some of the really cold places having those tunnels. Yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> Everyone needs their sales up 230%, Lex, don't we? Good morning, Dad's Vintage Garage. Good morning, John. How you doing? Oh yeah, I got a. Uh, I went to the dentist to get my teeth clean. What was that last week? And I got to go back on Tuesday. I'm having a little work done. Yeah. It's not a big deal. No feelings or anything about 20 years ago, back when I was poor and didn't have dental insurance, I had a, I had a tooth and needed a root canal and crown, but you know, back then it was 1500 bucks, which I didn't have. So I just pulled, had it pulled and I'm going to get a, finally get a bridge put in and a spot right there. So I got to go tomorrow, start the process. It's about a two or three month process, but, uh, yeah, that should be fun. Not really. Oh, that's not too bad in this. So down 9.6 from the last 31 days. And, you know, you know, for being Christmas sales, that's not too bad at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a big difference to South Florida and then the OKC and Dallas part. And now in Connecticut, ooh, but you miss that Florida weather. That's awesome, Lex. Listing 40 things. That's great. I am going to, you know, I was going to do the, the more the first part here about 15 minutes just by myself which we did and i'm going to uh see if anyone else wants to join in now because i'm about to start my shipping part so i'm going to go to our working hangout gang and uh see if andy wants to pop in or justin or craig or anybody else that happens to be in our group here so if you can that's fine if you can't that's fine too you know I'll just sit here and yammer. Getting better at the yammering. <laughs> oh, that's really good, Gate City.
Thank you, reseller man. Appreciate the pump up. Thanks, Andy. You're always good for a good yammer, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I get that. Good morning, Nathan. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I got 40 washing, so I think we could do better than that. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Best viewers on YouTube, best subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Andy. Yep. Same here, buddy. Same here. No, it's just, I'm not sick at all. It's just cold and my nose is running. <laughs> not sick at all. It's literally like 60 degrees down here. That's a little bit chilly. Cool. Thanks, Anissa. Yeah, guide people to the money symbol. <laughs> I appreciate that. This, uh, as it went, I was talking about this, this, it's not a bridge, it's an implant. I'm getting an implant put in for the missing tooth. And, uh, I had a quote for it, uh, probably five years ago when I lived in Columbia and they wanted like five grand. I didn't have five grand. Who has five grand? But uh, we have good dental insurance now. And I, I was like, oh, I'll just get another quote again. And the dentist, and they did the quote, and it came, it's only like $1,800, only $1,800. But uh, yeah, that's another $1,800 coming out of the pocket, getting a tooth put in. But I need to do it. It really doesn't bother me. I lived out of this all this long. But the problem is, it's making my teeth, my bottom teeth, like shift. So I need to get that implant in so they stop falling and moving and stuff. Makes your bite go out of whack yeah so uh <clears throat> guess i'll start packing up stuff i got oh another thing we did on saturday you know is i'm still waiting on my rails to put my new uh lights up and stuff that hopefully they'll be here this week but on Saturday, we inventoried all of our soft goods in bins. And that was awesome because that just, there was, I actually found three or four things that weren't even listed anymore. And I don't even know how that happened. You know, I remember listing these things. Uh, they weren't like bought and returned and I, you know, missed out on relisting them. They just weren't there anymore. It was so bizarre, you know, uh, three or four things out of a, out of a few hundred things. It was, it was, it was weird. So you may want to do inventory. Hey, awesome, John. Thank you. I appreciate that. It worked. <laughs> appreciate that a lot. It's awesome. Yeah, and this, the teeth are freaking expensive. Between the dentist and the vet, you know, it's, it's just crazy. No doubt. You're like hoping those teeth come in straight. <laughs> I was pretty lucky in that regard. I never had to have uh, braces. Not that I would have got them anyway because, you know, we were poor, but... Uh, my teeth came in fairly straight, so. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I, I actually, hey, I just sold something. You guys are good luck. Awesome. First sale of the day. I'll have to pull that and go ahead and get it packaged up. But anyway, that's good. Oh, no, anyway, but I, I just like the feeling of my teeth after I get them clean, you know, just enjoy that. <laughs> I'm weird, I guess. <laughs> there you go, Anissa, put them to work. <laughs> oh. Isn't that crazy steampunk town? You like you do inventory and you, I swear I was like, I was so, I thought I was just searching wrong or something. And I had my wife search and we searched all the key terms and I eventually just scrolled through the listing manually. And these four, there was four or five things I have them sitting over there and they were just gone. Poof. Like they were never listed, even though I know they were listed. I remember listing them. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. <laughs> the cha-ching. I thought you were talking about the low. <laughs> no, you're talking about the cha-ching. <laughs> I like that sound too. That's awesome, Anissa. Global shipping program. Love it. Yeah, my wife on my what sold video, my wife loved putting in that cha-ching sound to fool people. <laughs> She's like, I want to mess with people. And it does. Port St. Lucie, big area for minor league baseball. When I was in uh, Fort Myers briefly, that's where the Red Sox did their spring training. So that was pretty cool. I kind of, I mean, I didn't, wasn't really in the position to, when I was in Fort Myers, it was like during the height of the housing crash and man, I could have gotten some property cheap down there, <laughs> but I wasn't really in the position to do it either. So <laughs> it's awesome. Anissa. Yeah, I know Riley boy. I've, when I went live with it, I'm like for a few seconds, no one popped in. I'm like, Oh no, not again. <laughs> but then they started flowing in. So worked out well. Yeah, absolutely. Les, tell them they want to eat, get to work. <laughs> That's pretty much what my dad told me. I turned, we were, you know, I've said, I've told the story before. We were poor, we grew up in Arkansas. And uh, yeah, when I turned 13 or so, I started working. Gate City Picker asked, have you shipped painting or art before? Yes, I have. Would you prepackage before you list to know the shipping cost? You can. Um, and I think you should because it will protect, especially if it's, you know, you know, relatively pricey, you know, so when it's stored, uh, it's protected as well. You know, and you can just write on the box what it is. So that's what I would do. And that's what I do most of the time. You prepackage it and then you weigh it and then you put in your, you know, your shipping costs. So I think that's the right way to go, especially if something so fragile. We, we do sell quite, well, I, I can't say quite a bit of art, but we buy it all the time because it's really slow sellers. It's really a uh, long tail, but uh, it's worth picking up because when it does sell, it's usually pretty decent money. <laughs> Anissa I did threaten to withhold food until they showered recently. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I would be saying no electronics. No electronics. That's the, I think that's the biggest threat you can do to the kids nowadays is take away their electronics. That's true, Anissa. No one wants to be around the stinky kid. We had, you know, I look back on my high school days and I wasn't a bully by any stretch, but I was a big kid. I was a football player and I, I try to think I was nice to everyone, you know, and I was, but we did have one kid that was, you know, the stinky kid. And looking back on it, it probably wasn't his fault. You know, who knows what his family life was like, even if he had access to running water or soap, because we lived in Arkansas. There, it wasn't unheard of for people not to even have running water, you know, in certain places. You know, people had well water, and if that crapped out or ran out, you know, who knows what they did. But uh, kids can be cruel. And, uh, yeah, the funny thing is, he's a really good guy, really good kid. He, yeah, he went on to, you know, college, of course, and now he's an opera singer. So pretty well-known opera singer. So yeah, I'm not going to say his name, of course, but, uh, just a good guy at heart and just had a, probably a bad situation growing up. You know, it makes me feel bad now. I mean, we were poor, but I always had running water and soap, you know, but not everyone does. Not everyone does. Anyway, that was my little rant, my be empathetic rant. <laughs> uh, let me see here uh, it shouldn't be too bad gate city just make sure you check fedex as well you know of course check your pirate ship but check your fedex rates uh as well you know i had that as an option on ebay add your your regular usps priority and parcel select because sometimes parcel select on big items is okay but uh make sure you add fedex as well 
both FedEx, Smart Post, and Home Delivery. Well, depending on if it's big or not, it may not be eligible for Smart Post, but Home Delivery for sure. Good morning, Linda. How are you doing this morning? Linda is Caney Creek Girl. She always comments on my videos, always super positive, and I appreciate positive people like all of you are. <laughs> Kill the Wi-Fi? Absolutely. Absolutely, Anissa. Take that router away and there'll be a screaming bloody murder. Absolutely. There you go, Lex. Kill the Wi-Fi and tell them these, this list needs to be done, including sharing my posh closet. And once that's done, it'll be hooked back up. <laughs> Absolutely. And this, yeah, I'd be the same way if I had kids, you know, I would empty a kid's room out and all they would have access is like books to read. If I heard they were bullying anyone, so. but I don't have kids. I have 15 nieces and nephews and that is enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start doing that as well, Craig, uh, uh DVD VCR combos, uh, pre-boxing them instead of just stacking them up. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that as well. That's awesome, Hawk. That's, you know, that's the way you should do it. Oh, I appreciate it, Lex. It's just to have, it holds no real interest for me. <laughs> I guess I'm... I can't say I'm selfish in that way because I love my nieces and nephews. I love being generous for them. And I like my uh, niece that started college, you know, we're helping her out through her college. And uh, uh, that that's just enough for me, you know. Okay, Andy. Thanks anyway, bud. Have fun at breakfast. No, I don't know. We don't have kids, Anissa. No kids. It's just me and my wife, the dogs and the cats. Hey, Swamp. Good morning, Swamp. Uh, Swamp is Glenn. Glenn, Glenn. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> no side trips to... Oh, come on, Andy. You love Hobby Lobby, don't you? <laughs> Uh, gosh, I hate Hobby Lobby and Michaels. <laughs> oh man. Hang on. I think I had a I think I had a dog about to hork something up so I had to let them out <laughs> but anyway Anissa yeah we, we told her if she goes to college we would help her out because the worst thing you could do to a kid in college is make it difficult for them to go which is to put them in eyeball you know up to the eyeballs in debt you know which is what we had to do there's no way to do anything you know Start out in life and up your eyeballs in debt. Yeah, that's perfect. It's just the most moronic thing I've ever heard. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nathan's in trouble. We have a, a home store and a Hobby Lobby next door to each other. Oh, that sounds like hours of torture. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, good morning, Brenda. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, for me, it was just average. You know, I have 10 to package up here. I need to get to doing that here in a second. Good morning, Marco. Uh, do you ever do RA somewhat? I want to start doing it more, but uh, every time I've done RA in my area, it's not very good. I think the population is just too high. So if there is clearance stuff, it just gets snapped up quicker than I can get to it. 
Oh, thanks, Anissa. Like I said, that's the, uh, yeah. Anyway, I could go on a rant for that for days. Let me dust the dogs back in. Are you through? Okay. Play on your blankie. Ooh. <laughs> Ship that stuff, Justin. That's what I'm about to do. But yeah, I, you know, I would like to do more Ari, but it's just not very good in my area. So you just got to get real lucky. Yeah, Lex, yeah. And not, I mean, not only was it, I'm telling you, when I opened the box, it was like a wood stove hit me in the face. Like, I know what wood smoke smells like. I lived in Missouri. I chopped my own wood, you know, and I had a wood stove. And like I said, their dog slept on it. I have a dog. I know what that looks like, you know. And there's Mr. Hobbs. He wants to make an appearance. He's a, he's a superstar, aren't you, buddy? I'll say hello. Hops, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> You're silly. Oh gosh, he's silly. Hello, Mr. Fried Steak. <laughs> Good. How you doing? I don't think I have your uh, name down here. No. Uh, don't talk about food. I'm still, I'm about hour and a half away from being able to eat anything. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible, Anissa. It's just, it's terrible. And Penn State's a great school. I love Penn State. Uh, but the debt we put these kids in is just a killer. <laughs> I'm always hungry, yeah. Especially with a name like chicken fried steak. That's one of the best meals in the world. Heck, I may make that tonight. I got some chicken, pound it out, bread it, fry it. Mm-mm, good. Yeah, he's... Um, Mr. Hobbs is a pretty chill cat. Him and his brother. His brother Merritt rarely makes an appearance down here. But his brother's like a supermodel Gatsby. Yeah, John, I understand that. Because you're like, well, what if I find the bottom part in a thrift store and I need the lid? But yeah, you only got so much space, you know. Absolutely, Monty. You had chores and had to go to work. <laughs> Throwing all your stuff away, Justin. My wife mentioned it last night, mentioned that show of the people are talking about it and stuff. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And this, uh, I know it's just, it's not good. <laughs> I can't stand that show. Okay, guys, you guys keep on chatting. I am going to start uh, boxing stuff up. So, <laughs> got to get to work, right? Already have the money, but uh, people need their stuff. So, let me see here. I guess I'll start with these clothes. That'd be the lowest barrier to entry. Good. Need to... You guys let me know if the sound is too terrible. I, I, this mic has different settings, but uh, I can tinker with them if the sound gets really weird without me sitting in front of it. Again, I want to reiterate the appreciate the super chats from uh, 
reseller man at Dad's Vintage Garage. You guys are awesome for doing that. It makes us feel all warm and fuzzy. Seriously, I'm not being facetious. I'm being truthful. Everyone likes to be appreciated, you know? So. Some nine ounces. Well, that's awesome, Randy. That is real awesome. Anyway, um, get this stuff shipped out. First one. Oh, we got to go to pirate ship. There. Almost went into the eBay uh, shipping thing. Nope. Let me see here. There it is. Took a few best offers on stuff this weekend. Some stuff I've had for a while. It's good. First class, three dollars and thirty four cents. Retail four dollars and ten cents, but you know, with our the commercial rate plus down to three dollars and thirty four cents, good stuff. No different than eBay, but I'm just doing everything through Pirate Ship now, so I don't have to uh, transfer all my PayPal money. Don't have to worry about that. It just ca charges my credit card directly. First one. Done. weigh this one this close to a pound on this shirt so affects the way we ship it yeah that's fine 15 ounces fifteen ounces I'm gonna sneak in the first class the poly bag I haven't even looked at it, but however many folks we have watching, I think we can have an equal amount of thumbs up. I really do. Uh, you guys have done it before quite frequently, actually. So this comes in at exactly 15.5 ounces. There's that one. Oops. So here's a good example of when to go over to use eBay. At least it's the first time I've experienced this on pirate ship. At 16 ounces on eBay, you can still do first class, but it's not giving me that option on pirate ship. So uh, I'm going to go over, actually, I'm going to transfer my money. Go ahead and do that. Because the priority mail price is $6.89. And uh, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, first class, four dollars and ninety four cents. Yep. I just got an offer. We'll have to look at that here in a second. Get this money transferred first.
The kitty's scaring you Friday. The kitty's scaring you. My cats are playing in the background and the dogs sometimes go, I don't want any of that nonsense. Okay, money transferred. So let's purchase, see, yeah, it's a pirate. I don't know, let me look over in the chat here. Oh, Willa John, that's what I was just coming over to ask. If you put it in as a as a decimal, it would it would work. So awesome, because this is actually fifteen point five ounces. So uh, I'm gonna go over and pop that in. Thanks you, thank you for the information. Learn something new every day. Correct, that's my mantra. So let me uh, change that in pirate ship. Have fifteen point five ounces. There you go. You were correct. Same price, but uh, it just you know four ninety four. But uh, just makes things easier. Awesome. Learned my item for the day. Good stuff. Just like I tell people all the time when they talk about stuff, I'm like. I, done it for a long time but you can still learn stuff i mean and in the grand scheme of things pirate ship is still relatively new you know i know i'm sure a lot of people still don't even use it but uh it's definitely disturbed the market which is cool okay so what next Another clothing item here. I know this one's going to be priority mail. Uh, put them in a heavy poly miller though to protect them. So I don't have any cello bags that big. Let me just look at the shipping on these. Look at way. These are probably three pounds. Three pounds, seven ounces. Let's see what the Good. Eligible for cubic because it's going to California. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to double bag this. This is a fairly expensive item. So I want it protected. And these uh, poly millers are really heavy duty and durable, but I'm going to double, double it up just in case. these bigger poly mills are you know, like mm -hmm. let's look here three way make sure probably added an ounce Oh yeah, no, 3.7, 3 pounds, 7 ounces is good. Gotta love cubic shipping. Okay. Third one, I'm printing out. All right. 
by doing that cubic, it saved about $12 on shipping because this is going to California. This cubic helped out a ton on that one. Let's see what you guys are about. 65 watching. Holy smokes. Thumbs up, folks. Appreciate it so much. Yeah, more uh, moronic pest. Um, pirate ship most of the time is going to be the same as ebay especially if you have the top rated seller discount but where it's going to save you a ton of money is when you're eligible for cubic shipping and that could be anywhere from 50 cents where it, but that package was like 12 bucks it saved me because it was eligible for cubic so There you go. Sean's doing a good job of explaining and, and Glenn and uh, Craig. <laughs> so I appreciate it guys. I'm going to keep on shipping, keep on shipping. There's just certain criteria that eligible for cubic and uh, yeah. Okay. This one's going to California as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It doesn't weigh much, but it needs to be kind of protected. So it gets bent, it could break this thing. Yeah, that's only seven ounces, but uh, this can't bend. I don't know if I have a box that would be good for first class shipping for that. see here that may work this may work let's just see here nope it's just about a quarter inch too short part of it and it's ciphering it's figuring out what will work on a item to protect it could I have these big bubble mailers and that should be okay that's a big bubble mailer that's actually pretty perfect I got these bubble mailers at the thrift store, brand new. Got like several packages of them and I've been slowly using them up, got them for really cheap. Good brand too, they're Scotch brand. Okay, nine ounces. So still first class going to California, good stuff. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on that seal because I don't trust their self seal. Self seal. Nine ounces. Okay. About eighteen by fourteen. Three dollars and thirty four cents all the way to California. That's a good deal. Take that deal every time. Okay. Moving on. I like it. I actually enjoy shipping. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit weird, but I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the figuring things out how they're going to fit which method of shipment this train's probably over a pound that's uh, 13 ounces uh, it will need to be boxed though now let's just see where is it going this one's going to south carolina not too far away be nice if we can get that first class but, uh, Yeah, 
Okay. Let me see here. Oh, there's a Hemi. What you doing, buddy? recycled a lot of my <laughs> junk well, I call them junk boxes boxes like Amazon boxes that I've already that's already been used I used to save a lot of them but I just don't have the room to save them anymore and I've thrown out a lot of them but uh, that's where something like this would come in handy it's an odd shape I need a lighter box but uh, yeah let's see here seventy three watching awesome awesome people you guys are great Hit the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Oh, here's oh, wait a second. We got someone who want to make it, wants to make an appearance. Hey me. Gatsby. Come here, buddy. Gatsby. Oh, I got gotcha. <laughs> This is the superstar. He is a handsome, handsome fella. This is Hobbs brother. They're from the same litter. He is what they call a cream puff. He's orange and white. And he's a good boy. They're both real well raised by their mama because they are good boys. Good kitties. <laughs> I run him up, kitty. Yep. Yeah, he's Mr. He's a fluff ball for sure. <laughs> Don't do Kansas, John. Do Missouri. <laughs> uh, Missouri's dead center. Well, I lived in Columbia. We we're pretty much the center of the country. Oh, thanks, Fran. Appreciate it. Thanks, Anissa. Yeah, Joe, uh, he has, Justin and his wife has two cats as well. We have three cats. Well, that's awesome, Anchor Journey. Yeah, that's, it seems like it's all the way, you know, always that way for me too. I always have the big heavy stuff going to California. Me too, Monty. Dogs, cats, doesn't matter. We have three cats, two dogs, no kids. But you guys are trying for one, Justin, so... Yep. Okay. Back to shipping. Get to work. <laughs> Stop having fun and get to work. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So back to figuring out a box for this thing. Let's see. I think we'll use this 12 by 6 by 6 box. Yeah. Hopefully we can still keep it under a pound, but we'll find out. I'll use the, uh, instead of paper, I'll use a, a big uh, bubbles, you know, for padding the not bubble wrap. Well, maybe some bubble wrap, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what works best. Paper weighs more than bubble wrap, of course. So sometimes that half of an ounce makes a difference. Ooh. Get my scissors. Okay. 
a combination of bubble wrap and big bubbles. There's some void in this box. Yeah, it's gonna work out just fine with more of these bubbles. Perfect. Okay. Whether it's over a pound or not, that's about the only way we can do it. So and be a little bit professional about it. Let's see where we're at. It's gonna be close. Yep, it's over, but that's okay. One pound, three ounces. I think they paid for priority anyway, so I don't know why I went through all that rigmarole for. Because it's going close. Yep, regular priority mail, $7.18. Yep. And they paid. Where's that? There it is. Yeah, they paid priority mail. They paid $8.75 shipping. So with, you know, top rated discount and stuff. Oh, well, now it's just commercial plus. So works out okay. So I went through all that first class nonsense for nothing, but it's fine. That was the good box for it anyway. There's not a good uh, priority mailbox for that shape and size of an item anyway. Okay, next one out. A little tip here. I, I talked to my mailman about this, like try not to show this on boxes like this where the label it would have fit here if you put the barcode from the label over this sometimes it's hard for the the mailman the mail people to scan it so just put it on the side i know it's covering up the ebay thing but uh yeah just put it on the side frustrates my mailman when people do that we were talking about that the other day i'm like why do people do that like and sometimes you can't avoid it you know i get it but okay Next thing, this one's going to be easy. Poly mailers, this will be first class and done. This will probably only be a few ounces. Yep, five ounces. Two dollars and seventy nine cents first class going to Massachusetts. Done. That was one of the many points of my redo is to be more efficient in shipping my shipping supplies right here. They used to be over there. You know, just makes things more efficient. Okay, what do we got next? Let me take a look at the chat real quick. 70 watching. You guys are awesome. Hit that thumbs up if you will. I appreciate it. Yeah, John. Yeah, if you can't avoid it, just try to make it as smooth as possible. Yeah, absolutely. They appreciate that. Good morning, Nate. Seeing a few new names in the in the chat, and we do appreciate it. And welcome, welcome. We, we're good people here. Good, positive group of people here all right randy thanks for stopping by bud appreciate it we'll see you next time okay so next item all right there's a hat they actually this would go first class but they actually paid for priority mail shipping on purpose because they want it quicker so they will get it priority because normally with this hat i would use a uh an eight by six by four eBay box, and this would be first class. But since they paid for priority mail, I'm just going to use this uh, seven by seven by six box. They paid for it, they're going to get it. I'm 
sure they want it to the hat the hat is you know uh, for the for everyone new in the chat this is just a pack and ship you know i'll talk talk about shipping in the process i don't actually show the items how much they cost what they are i do that on my what sold videos and stuff but uh this is one of the nfl teams still playing <laughs> a vintage one so uh they probably want it before the game this weekend okay i do need a cello bag this stuff for the most part my my redo is done but there still is some tinkering moving of stuff around you know i gotta Yeah, still be a little bit more. There's always organizing in there, guys and gals. There's, there's always organizing. But it's way better than it was. Way, 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 a million times better than it was. The static today, look at the, oh, it already fell off. But the, everything's clinging to me. The air is dry. We have our humidifier going in our bedroom because the dryer threw it out overnight. And, Okay. This is still going to only, this is only going to be like eight, nine ounces or so, but they paid for priority. They're going to get it. You know, if I was still doing free shipping, this one, 100% would have went first class, you know, even if they wanted priority, they would have to pay for it. Seven ounces. Seven ounces. The first class would only been 305, but they want priority mail and it's 698 and they paid for it. So they're going to get it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my one of my dogs is snoring back there. Right, and that one's done. What's next? Look at the yeah, I had emergency dawn, absolutely. Hey, Dan, it's good to see you, man. Haven't seen you in a while. NH guys, Dan, a longtime supporter of the channel. Glad to see you popping in, bud. Appreciate it a million. Yeah, still playing Anissa, not out of the playoffs. And one of you is right with one of your guesses. <laughs> well, considering we're down to four teams. I missed what Hellfire said. I have to go back here. Hellfire. Okay, but anyway, uh, next up, next up, toy here. This is gonna, I think, be a priority mail shoe box. Will be fit best with this. I'm gonna do a dry fit just to make sure it's not too tall dry fits where I don't tape it and I just kind of get its general shape. Yeah, that'll be just fine. That'll be just and as I drop it on the floor. Luckily, it's metal. Eh, no dents. We're good. Any of, you, any of everybody else do that? You're, has anybody ever been packing something up and broke it? I've done that. I've done that with a coffee mug, packing it up and you're handling it and it just slips out of your hands and whoosh. Yep. That's an always an awkward email. Say, so, sorry, person, but uh, while I was packing it up, I broke it. <laughs> I'm going to use some paper on this one. It's a heavy duty item anyway. It doesn't need a ton of protection. See, I'm still working on my flat surface space. I need more. Okay. 
and put some paper down in here. Shake it around a little bit and no movement, so we're good. It's not breakable, but I, you know, in general, you should really get things where they're not moving in the box. Very less chance, much less chance for uh, any type of damage that's not moving in the box. This weighed up probably, I don't know, three pounds, two and a half. Uh, two pounds, ten ounces. Two pounds, ten ounces. Fifteen by eight by six. Is going to Maryland, so pretty close to me. So it'll definitely be just regular priority mail, not cubic. Yep, priority mail, six ninety eight. Done. Oh, Rally Roots. I just got a notification. Rally Roots just posted a new video. Please watch it after we're done here. <laughs> All right. Just a few more to go. Let me adjust my packages over here before I have an avalanche on top of my dogs. Okay. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Did you, Piper John, you packing one up and dropped it? That's funny. Yeah, it's pretty awful, Justin. And it will happen. Just give it time. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, people have done it. People have done it. I've done it. Okay, next up. Got three more. Well, we only had two more, but I sold something since we've been on here. So I actually got three more. I got to find that keyboard though. Oh, oops. I just said what sold. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay. A box for this one. This one will be a first class package. Definitely be under a pound. subscribers are creeping up it seems like we gain you know anywhere from four to ten a day six ounces i don't know how the wizards do it they get hundreds a day but uh it is what it is i enjoy my subscribers Six ounces, two dollars and ninety-two cents, going to West Virginia, just one state over from us. So, no problem. <laughs> My dog is snoring up a storm over there. So, this is a good example. I was talking about earlier, not putting the label on a seam. This box, you can't do anything about it. There's no other; it wouldn't fit properly. So, it's just got to go over a seam. I made it pretty flat, so it's still scannable. Okay. Okay. 
down to just a couple. Hey Larry, good morning Larry, how are you doing this morning? Thanks for popping in. We're almost uh, done, <laughs> unfortunately, he just got here, but uh, still 61 watching, you guys are awesome. I, I think we can do this, look, we got 61 watching, 54 thumbs up. Let's get more thumbs up than watching. <laughs> I think we can do it. It's always awesome when that happens. Okay, so basically the last item, I had that one that sold this morning, but I haven't pulled it, so I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But uh, the last item of stuff I've pulled, we're about to package up. It's a bigger item, breakable. So this one will definitely be boxed. Okay. Measure this here. This is 12 and a half, about 13 inches. 13 by 11 by 5. 13 by 11 by 5. Hmm. That 13 is the killer. So it's 12. I could do a 12 by 12 by 8 box and it'd be just fine. But let me make sure here. Let me double check my measurements. Yeah, it's actually like 12 and a half exactly. Jeez. So half inch killed me. Half inch. Hmm. It's a it's a noggin scratcher, isn't it? That's where it gets really difficult when stuff gets above 12 inches. You get about 12 inches, it's, it makes it way more difficult to pack. Because all most of the priority mail boxes, except for the smaller, you know, the these what are they, the 1095s. These rectangle ones are, yeah, the 1092s, 1095s, or whatever. And the, they go over 12 inches, but they're not very, you know, wide, of course. So I do use those boxes quite a bit. Doesn't help with this item, though, no, that's for sure. I may have to scrounge up a an old Amazon box I may still have laying around. This is heavy as well. What, where's this going? This is going to Kentucky. Hmm. This won't fit in a regional rate A either. Uh, B probably doesn't make sense. I'm going to weigh it up without a box first just to see where we're at. Yeah, see, that's five pounds without a box. So it's pretty heavy. I'm just going to put in some numbers just to tinker here. Uh, this is eligible for cubic, $8.78 cubic. Hmm. Yeah, cubic is definitely the best rate. I may have to build a box for this one. I may have to build a box. I'm going to see what I have around. Anyway, I'm not going to finish this one up over here. Oh, good morning. Oh, Shan's deals. Good morning. <laughs> hey Don, we're about to yeah shipping dilemmas absolutely, and that's what this is. This is a shipping dilemma. You don't have a box that fits correctly. Uh, yeah, you just got to tinker around with it. Make sure I'm on. Yeah, I'm on screen. So just got to tinker with it. Uh, maybe even build a box. So uh, I have all the all the all my Amazon affiliate links are there. All the stuff I use to build boxes. So like my this is a big uh, box resizer. Uh, use I use that, you know, sometimes. It's not like I use it every day. The one I use more often is uh, this one. This is a, a boxing resizer as well. Um, but using this, you have to cut it down manually, but this makes your perforations on the inside, so it makes it easy to fold. And this is the Ulfa. I don't even know if I have an Amazon affiliate link for that one. But, uh, you know, combine that with your razor knife. You're good to go. I have to put some more affiliate links. Okay, so, oh man, 65 watching, 59 thumbs up. I think we can hit that equal number of watchers and thumbs up. 65 and 65, I think we can do it. I was about to sign off, but let's see if we can hit that 65, 65. 
I want to, another huge, huge thank you to the, uh, um, John and, and reseller man. I think reseller man's name is, I don't even know if he's in here anymore. I don't have him on my list. I can't remember his, I see him all the time and I can't remember his name. That's why I have a list, but the uh, reseller man and John for the super chat, you guys are, are the best. Appreciate it. That's my uh, fourth and fifth uh, super chat. So, David, uh, thanks. I'm going to write that down right now. Sorry about that. I'm going to write it down and I'll learn everybody. I do learn everybody eventually, but I have a whole list. So. Got it. Okay. Thank you, David. Appreciate it a lot. I feel bad that I couldn't even remember your name to give me a super chat, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, John. They could. <laughs> but we now we got 67 watching and 64 thumbs up. So three more, three more. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I know y'all, you guys know this. It just helps with the, uh, the search algorithm with YouTube, you know, so. Oh, let me get that down to hip flipping mamas. <laughs> You're kind of like me. I'm like, whatever. You can call me Mike, Michael, dude. Hey, dude, whatever. I'll answer to it. I think I may have have you down here. No. So hip flipping mama. Is Kelly. Got you on the list, Kelly. I do appreciate it. You'll see me reference the list. No. I learned everyone who is eventually like I know junk traders and this, uh, and can you Creek girl is, is, is Linda and, uh, yeah. It's just like everything you start school or college or a new job or whatever you're learning people's names instead of faces. I have, uh, uh, avatars and, and, and YouTube channel names. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a pretty good name too, Kelly. Kelly, the Ecom Mom Ward. <laughs> that's pretty awesome as well. I love how creative people can get. You know what I taught? I taught as an adjunct professor, I taught business classes at Mizzou, at the University of Missouri for uh, a couple of years. You know, I taught web design and business. And, uh, you know, because that's my forte is business. And, um, the biggest issue I saw with students, and this was, you know, seven, eight, nine years ago with a lack of creativity, which was kind of surprising to me because millennials can be pretty daggum creative. They get a bad rap, but they are pretty creative. They have a different way of thinking than my generation was the first one to grow up with like electronic, not, not cell phones, but like, like video games and stuff in the household. Like my first video game system was the original Atari, you know, the Atari, whatever it was, 2600. I remember getting that for Christmas in, uh, um, 1984. Yeah, I think it was 84 and my parents could never afford such a thing, but we had an aunt and uncle that would, and we knew this, they didn't tell us at the time because it was from Santa, but that we had an aunt and uncle that was more well off than we are. And, uh, they gave it to us, you know, and we knew that and we know that now, you know, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, the point was the millennials are pretty creative, you know? Oh, there we go. Look at that. 67 thumbs up and 62 watching. That's awesome. <laughs> That's true. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Gate, gate city picker. We got 68, actually 68 total interactions, 64 watching. So, but that's it guys, unless you have any other questions, comments and stuff. Um, you know, I love to help out. Um, I'm not as active on social media as a bunch of the other guys, but I try to answer all the questions, especially on the comments on videos. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the super chats to, uh, the guys for, uh, David. Yeah. And thanks for the super chats guys. I do appreciate it. It makes me feel, feel good inside, but, uh, that's it. I'm going to do my normal thing today. I got to unload the truck from yesterday's stuff. We got it thrift stores, get it all in here, get it all staged and hopefully work on my, 
I don't have my lighting rails yet, which really bums me because my lighting stinks right now. But uh, try to figure something else out. But anyway, thanks, guys. And we will uh, see you guys tomorrow on our uh, haul video. Peace.